This class we discuss about the attractive effort required for propulsion of a train. First is what is the difference between mass and weight? Mass is the quantity of matter contained in a body. Mass is denoted by M. Mass is a scalar quantity. Weight is the force with which earth pulls a body downwards. Weight is denoted by W. Weight is a vector quantity. What is meant by dead weight? Dead weight is the gross weight of the train, including the locomotion moving the track. What is meant by accelerating weight? Accelerating weight is the weight due to rotational inertia because of angular acceleration. The total effective weight of the train will be more than its dead weight. This is known as accelerating weight. The accelerating weight is about 10 percentage more than the dead weight. What is meant by adhesive weight? Adhesive weight is the weight on the driving wheels of a locomotive which determines the frictional grip between wheels and the rail. What is meant by frictional grip? Frictional grip is the adhesion between the wheels of a locomotive and the rails of the railroad track. What is meant by coefficient of adhesion? This is the ratio of the track to effort force. Just necessary slip the wheels on the track to the adhesive weight. It reduces with the increase in the speed. We know that tractive effort transferred to the driving wheel Ft is equal to alpha into beta into 2 into t divided by capital D where alpha is the transmission efficiency, beta is the gear ratio, t is the torque developed by the motor where d is the driving wheel diameter. And tractive effort required for propulsion of a train compresses three forces. One is FA, force required for linear and angular acceleration. Number two, FG. FG is a force required to overcome the effect of gravitation. Number three, force required to overcome the effect of train resistance. We know first we have to find FA. FA is equal to force is equal to mass into acceleration. The unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Here the weight of the train is given W ton. One ton is equal to 1000 kg. Therefore weight of the train is equal to W into 1000 kg. Here acceleration is given in kilometer per hour per second. That is equal to A into 1000 divided by 3600 meter per second square. That is equal to 0 0.2778 into A into meter per second square. Therefore, F A is equal to mass into acceleration that is M that is that is equal to 1000 W into 1000 into 0.2778 into A that is equal to 277.8 into W into A Newtons or kg meter per second square. W is the weight of the body which has no rotating parts. And already we know what is meant by accelerating weight. W is equal to accelerating weight which is more than the dead weight. Therefore, FA is equal to 277.8 into W into E where W E is accelerating weight into A acceleration meter per second square in Newtons. The next is tractive effort required to overcome the effect of gravity. For oh, this is a train. AC is the distance along the train and BC is the elevation. Therefore, gradient G is equal to elevation divided by distance along the train that is equal to sin theta. Where theta is the angle of slope. Percentage gradient G is equal to sin theta into 100. Therefore, sin theta is equal to G by 100. When the train moves on a slope that is a gradient, a force of gravity equal to the component of the dead weight along the slope 
acts on the train and tends to cause its motion downward slope. This is Fg, that is W into sin theta. Here, 4 q to gradient is equal to W into sin, that is 1000 into W into sin theta in kg. Here, Fg is equal to plus or minus m into g into sin theta, where m is a mass, g is a gravitational constant and sin theta. Here, the plus and minus, plus sign indicates the train is moving on upward gradient. Minus sign indicates the train is moving on downward gradient. If we know the sin theta, sin theta is equal to g by 100 and m is equal to 1000 into w, g is equal to 9.81, therefore fg is equal to plus or minus 98.1 into w into g in newtons. The third is to effort to overcome the train resistance, that is f suffix r. When the train is running at uniform speed on a level track, it has to overcome the opposing force due to the surface friction. That is, the friction at various parts of the rolling stock, the friction of the track, and also due to the wind resistance. The magnitude of frictional resistance depends upon the following. Number one, shape. Number two, size and condition of the track. Number 3, the velocity of the train, etc. R be the specific train resistance in Newton per ton of the dead weight. Or R is equal to specific resistance to motion. Where W is equal to dead weight of the train in Newtons. Therefore, track to effort to overcome the train resistance, F suffix R is equal to W and the R in Newtons. Therefore, total tractive force Ft is equal to 277.8 into W into A plus or minus 98.1 into W into G plus W into R, where R is the specific train resistance. The frictional resistance value is 50 to 70 Newton per ton of the weight of the train.